go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It has been okay. You know what? <clears throat> Got a little excited because I know what you want to talk about. So today we're going to talk about with or without you energy. What is with or without you energy? Okay, with or without you energy is it's kind of self-explanatory. It's like when you come to someone with like, hey, this thing is going to go on. It doesn't matter if you're there or not. It is 100% up to you if you're going to show up and see what happens, but it doesn't matter. Everyone has FOMO. What is FOMO? Fear of missing out. Businesses have it. People have it. What are businesses? A bunch of people. That's all they are. That being said, by using with or without you energy, you can get things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to by capitalizing off of the FOMO effect of them. Okay, so I was watching a, I don't know if you heard of it, it's called Diary, it's called Diary of a CEO with Stephen Bartlett and this episode had Daniel Priestley in it. Daniel Priestley is super successful, so is Stephen, they're popular. They were talking about a whole bunch of different topics, but this was the one that really stood out to me. They spoke on how they have both used with or without you energy to skip, jump, and leap bounds beyond what they would have done on their own without it. So here's an example. Steven, the host of the podcast, spoke on how when he was in college, he needed camera equipment for something he was working on. And he just reached out to a bunch of different companies was like, hey, what do you say? He said something like, you've been selected to be the sponsor of an event that's upcoming. If you would like to take part in it, reach back out to me. If not, don't worry about it. They gave him or whoever whoever was in the company, I think it was like Sony or something. It's been a minute since I've watched the, the thing, but I remember this piece because it was really important. Sony like reached out to him and just gave him a bunch of refurbished equipment that was no longer going back into the pipeline. Imagine just reaching out to Apple and being like, hey, we're going to be hosting a Keystone event. If you would like to give us or if you would like to be the sponsor and get all this free publicity, just let me know. If not, we'll go with Google and you just look at them, right? And they go, well, I don't want Google to be the one that, that gets the free publicity. I want that. So then all of a sudden you just get a whole bunch of free iPhones, iPads, laptops, like MacBooks and whatnot, all because you just gave them the option to, but like you were going to do it anyway. That is a superpower in and of itself. And it doesn't only work in business. You can use this with other people. You can use this when you're like dating. You can, I personally, and this isn't like a manipulation thing. Like it's straight up just, I didn't know I was doing this until I watched this video. I was like, oh, that's what it's called. I give people the option to opt in. <laughs> I give them the option to opt in. And there is no, there is like, how many say this? I don't have any strings attached when I ask my questions, when I give my offers, like it is what it is. If you want to, you're capable of doing it. If you don't want to just say you don't, and that's fine too, but either way it's going to happen. And I can't tell you how many times because there isn't the expectation or because there isn't like an ulterior motive, people opt in. It just happens. I don't know why. I do know why it's the FOMO they, they don't want like something exciting to happen when they're not there you know when you like had an option to go to a party or like you were with your friends and you left early to do something and something hilarious happened or like there were these inside jokes there's, there's always something exciting that can happen when you aren't there and businesses and successful people are no different so I hope that is a value to you I hope that you find a way to use this as well to get something else that you did not know that you were actually capable of getting. And shoot, it's been like two weeks. All right, just give me a minute. Like I, I'm, I'm recalibrating. If you are a success oriented, if you are a success oriented, growth minded individual, and you want to find people that are just like you, I highly recommend you join my school community. It is in the description below. We just created a Facebook group as well. So if you're on Facebook, and you're not in school yet, and you would rather that, we have that as well. So I check in there daily. I post daily on both of them. And I typically put in polls, polls. I put in polls for you to vote on the videos that you want me to discuss next. Or if you want to reach out to me, that's how you get in contact with me. Check it out. Without that, uh, with that being said, I am so, so happy to be back. I was like bouncing like a little girl when I set up my camera. It's been a wild ride. We're on our way. It has been a pleasure. 
My name is Matthew Holland. Thank you so, so much for tuning in today, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.